Bye, Nikki. See you later. Bye. Just doing a, just... Oh, Mike, you shouldn't have bothered. No, they're for somebody else. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, buttonholes? No, I, I don't think so. I'll get us some more. Oh. Well, oh. Um, sit down, Paul. Oh, thank sit you. Down. Thank you. You too. Yes. What, what brings you here? Oh, I just uh, called in to pick up some ECG results. How's the practice? Oh, yes. Fine. Fine. Oh, good, good. I see you're getting used to the idea of working with a woman doctor. Oh, yes. Um, how did you know? Oh, masculine intuition. The last time I saw you, she was making your life hell. Oh, that was just over-enthusiasm. It was her first practice. She wanted to make an impression. Yeah, it looks as though she has. Yes. She's so conscientious. Do you know I was in a room till three in the morning? Ah, now that's what I call conscientious. <laughs> oh, no, nothing like that. We were just discussing some x-rays. Oh, yes. Yes. She doesn't know how I feel. But you don't want to talk about Nikki all night. How's the job? Oh, it's great. Well, it's more in your line, really. Assistant surgeon. Nicky hopes to go into surgery. Uh, yes, well, it's fantastic experience, even though I do have to put up with Bingham. He still races round jabbering about his latest rodent ulcers. But I, Nicky I... diagnosed an ulcer the other day. <laughs> Spotted it right away. Yes, well, I had to deal with a peritonitis case yesterday. It involved a very tricky appendicectomy. And but she... I suppose Nicky knocked off two of those. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she did have one like that at the City in general. Yeah. Mike, aren't you just a little bit jealous of me? I mean, you're still stuck in general practice. Oh, well, I still want to do surgery. But, um, general practice has its compensations. <laughs> Which reminds me, I must get back. To your compensations? Yes. Yeah. No, um, I've got some x-rays to go over. Oh, come on, Mike, we've got time for a quick pint. No, no, really, I've uh, got to roll up some bandages as well. Oh, well, you had better dash, then. Yeah, but, but I'll see you soon. We'll have a drink. That's okay? a good idea. I wish I'd thought of that. Right. Give my love to Nicky. What? Uh, give my love to Nicky. Oh, yes, yes, I will. See you. Yeah, bye. Drop in any time. Yeah. Yeah. Women. Thank goodness. No. <laughs> Come in. Oh. oh, um, let me. Oh. Thank you. Well, um. Oh, I just wondered if I could borrow Dr. Griffin's microscope. Oh, yes, of course. Ah, oh, it's in that box. Oh, let me. I only put it away because I didn't think anybody used it. No, no, I use it all the time. Uh, <laughs> yes, well, I was just trying to tidy up a bit. This place gets so cluttered. You like the flowers? Oh, very much. Dr. Griffin wouldn't have allowed them, though. They'd have brought on one of his sneezing attacks. Is he really that sensitive? Oh, he'd get hay fever from a plastic daffodil. <laughs> um, <laughs> the hospital says he'll be out next week, and then I'll have to look for another job. Hmm. Well, uh, perhaps he'll get a relapse. Mike, don't you want him to get better? Yes, yes, it's just that, um, well, I've enjoyed running the practice on my own, and um, with you, on my own. <laughs> Good. Oh, um, I nearly forgot. Would you like to see some slides? Holidays? Uh, no, blood. Uh, <laughs> I collected these when I was doing pathology at St Swithin's. There, there's one here that's very interesting. Sickle cell anemia. Oh, well, I, I wouldn't mind looking at that one. <laughs> Did you take this smear yourself? No, I swapped it for two leukemias and a malaria. <laughs> but I took this one myself. It's, it's not very... Um... Mike, is 
there going to be time? It's only one slide. Yes, I know, but last night it was only one x-ray. And we spent until about three o'clock talking about it. And the night before that it was only one set of ECG results, but it was past midnight before we'd finished. Yeah, well, it, it just seems so convenient. You being in here and me being, um, in there. Yes, but most of the time we're both in here. A and if we carry on like that, we won't be able to get through a day's work. Yes, I suppose so. And if we both start turning up at morning surgery, bleary-eyed, what are the patients going to say? They're not like that in Harrow. Oh, my. <laughs> like that everywhere. Besides, this sort of thing can be dealt with far more quickly during the day. Yes, I, uh... I suppose you're right. Oh, but I didn't mean that you should go. Um, I just meant that... Oh, well, um, perhaps we should be a little more honest with each other. Yes, I, um, I guess we, uh, should. <laughs> yes, we must be much more honest. <laughs> Morning, Mrs. Lacey. Morning. What a lovely day. No, it's not. It's pouring down. Is it? Oh. Well, it's lovely in here. And you're lovely. Oh. Right. First patient, please. Nobody's arrived yet. It's not quarter to nine, Doctor. <laughs> oh. Still, it's nice to see you all chirpy. I expect that's Dr. Barrington's doing. Dr. Barrington is just a colleague. She's a very good doctor, but I can oh, assure Oh, there's a patient you... arriving now. I'll go and let her in. Right. <coughs> oh, hello, Elsie. You can go straight in. Dr. Upton's bright and early this morning. Here. sit down. What is it this time? Well, I keep getting these dizzy spells. Ah, in the mornings? Oh, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not expecting. Love's young dream fades a bit after your seventh. <laughs> but it's nice to be young and in love, isn't it? Is it? <clears throat> <laughs> well, there's uh, nothing here that helps, so um, just take your blood pressure. Just put this on your arm. There we are. Now, this won't hurt. It's just, oh, I, um... I'm sorry. I, I didn't realise you'd already started. Oh, that's all right. Um, this is Dr. Dr. Barrington. I thought so. <laughs> um, why don't you use the sphygma manometer in the other surgery? That one's very old. Oh, that's all right, dear. So's my arm. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's reliable. Uh, well, uh, I'd better be off on the rounds, then. Yeah. Um... Did you sleep well last night? <laughs> Did you? Yes, fine. <laughs> um, well, you better be off. Yes. Um, is there anything you want me to do? Yes. Um, no. <laughs> well, I'll be off. Right. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Mollett. Uh, must have perished. <laughs> Look at perish for a moment. Yeah, I'll, I'll just bring the other one through. Oh, my. Uh, I'll be going then. Yeah. Oh, about tonight. Um, do you still want to go? Yes, of course. Well, I'll book a table. Right. For two. For two. OK. Bye-bye, then. Bye. <laughs> Mrs. Mullet, she's gone. Oh, we're not being very responsible, are we? No, we must be more professional. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, very professional. Oh. You know, he oh. never used to kiss me like that when I was his partner. Well, that's, that's because you never used to iron his shirts for him. What do you mean? I even wore them for him. <laughs> well, I, I really must get started. I'll see you later. Bye. 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 Oh, what are you doing here? You haven't had the sack again. No, you? no, you don't get sacked from St Swithin's. You're there till you die. And after that, they keep you on as a pathologist specimen. <laughs> no, no, sit down, Mike. Um, I've got a surprise for you. Yeah? Yes, sir. Wait for it. I'm waiting. The Dean has kicked Bingham off his firm. Oh, well, that's very nice. I mean, it's nice. I mean, you realise what this means? There's a surgeon's post vacant on the Dean's firm. The Dean's told me to tell you it's yours if you want it. Of course, he's had to advertise it, but everybody knows it's yours. 
Yeah, well, um, thank you very much, Paul. I I'll think about it. You'll think about it? Look, this is what you've always wanted. The general practice lot was just to fill in. Yeah, but there's something to be said for general practice. Um, not here, maybe, but a uh, small place in the country, a little cottage, someone who understands you and who'll... Iron your shirts for you? <laughs> well, why not? Because it's too early for you to think of settling down and living in a rose-covered cottage in Cornwall. Devon. Devon, then. <laughs> no, you can do 20 years surgery and still settle down with Nicky. How do you know it's her? Well, it's not Mrs Lacey, is it? <laughs> is it? <laughs> I wouldn't put anything past you. You're mad. I mean, look, this is what you've always wanted. Yeah, I said I'd think about it, Paul, and I will think about it. I'm very grateful to you. I will think about it. Well, you better think about it very fast, because the dean won't hold out forever. Yeah. Well, I will. Right, see you. I will think about it. Right. Next cottage, please. <laughs> I'm not quite ready. I won't be a minute. Do sit down. It's all right. There's no hurry. The table's not booked till nine. Oh, I'm getting hungry already. I expect Dovin's lovely at this time of year. <laughs> yes, I expect it is. I always find the country so relaxing, don't you? Mm. Dartmoor has always attracted me. <laughs> Attracts quite a few people. <laughs> Perhaps you could get a post as prison doctor. Mm. I, I was talking about the countryside, really. I think this lipstick, that's right. Do what? This lipstick, does it look all right? Yes, perfect. You look lovely. Oh, thank you. Devon would be marvellous for your complexion. Oh, Mike, you are funny. Why don't you say what you mean? What do you mean? Oh, all this talk about Devon. Are you suggesting we have a holiday together? No. Yes. Well, <laughs> why not? I mean, we could look around and see if we like it. Uh, well, it's a lovely idea, Mike. Uh... I, I was going to talk to you about this over dinner, but... But what? Well, I'm not sure whether I'll be free to go away with you, Mike. You see, I, I had a phone call today from a friend. Boyfriend? Oh, no, nothing like that. A, a girl I know ran me up to tell me about a post that's vacant, and as I'm only temporary here, I thought I'd apply. Oh. Well, we knew I was going to go sometime, didn't we? This doesn't need to change things between us, does it? No, I suppose not. What, what's the job? House surgeon on the Dean's firm at St. Swithin's. <laughs> St. Swithin's? Well, that's my job. you about it doesn't mean to say you've got the job. And just because a friend phones you up doesn't mean to say you've got the job either. I didn't say I'd got it. You're the one who claims it's your job. It is mine. It isn't. You've only applied for it. I told you, Paul came and offered it to me. Well, then why didn't you take it? Because I love you. Oh. Well, that's a silly reason. No, it's not. It's not silly. It's... Well, I thought... I know we both said we wanted to be surgeons, but we both enjoy general practice together and... Well, everybody settles down sometimes, and we seem to understand each other, and Devon is lovely at this time of year. <laughs> it wasn't just a holiday, was it? Look, I'm very fond of you, but we hardly know each other. We can't both throw away all our ambitions after only a few days. Anyway, you can do 20 years surgery and still settle in the country. Is that what you really want? Well, if it wasn't, I'd have taken the job, wouldn't I? You mean applied for it? I told you, Paul came and offered it to me. Rubbish! Paul's only an assistant surgeon. He's no authority to hand out surgeons' jobs. Oh, well, in this case, he has and he did. Well, you'll still have to apply officially. Well, if I do, I'll get it. No, you won't. My qualifications are better than yours. Well, the Dean promised it to me a year ago. Oh, now you're being childish. No, it's not. It's true. Ask Paul. And don't... me. <laughs> it's you who's being childish, isn't it? Good night. Tuh. Typical woman. You're not talking to me now, are you? <laughs> are you? I said good night. Right. Well, two can play at that game. Pardon? <laughs> right. Good night. Morning, Dr. Barrington. Lovely day, is it? Well, not bad. 
Uh, you're taking surgery this morning, are you? Yes, I'll take it here in Dr Upton's room. Ah, oh, that's nice. Share and share alike. It's not a question of that, Mrs Lacey. All the files are in here. Dr Upton will be doing the rounds, then. I can just see him skipping through the new estate in slow motion. <laughs> he's probably still getting out of bed in slow motion. Oh, no, I think he's up. I'll check anyway. Oh, while you're out there, Mrs Lacey, could you send the first patient in, please? Yes, of course. Oh, and remember, Dr Barrington, you can't have your ups without your downs. <laughs> Hello, Doctor. Oh, Mrs Mollett, isn't it? Do sit down. Look, I must apologise for Dr Upton's behaviour yesterday. Oh, that's all right, dear. I understood. I had a bit of shopping to do anyway, and I didn't want to appear a gooseberry. <laughs> <laughs> and it's nice to see young people like that. <laughs> Mrs Mollett, what are you doing in here? I'm taking surgery. But why aren't you taking it in there? Because I'm taking it in here. You're out on the rounds. I know where I am. Not sure I do. <laughs> I'll just get your card. It's not in there. I had it out when I dealt with Mrs Mollett yesterday. You didn't deal with Mrs Mollett yesterday. She walked out on you. She didn't walk out on me. She crept. Ah. Here it is. <laughs> You've not dealt with Mrs Mollett before, have you? I think you'll find that two years ago... I can read, thank you. You're in my way. Well, I wouldn't be in your way if you were in your own surgery. Oh, stop being so petty. I've got a patient to deal with. Well... <laughs> Mrs. Molly, she's gone again. That's your fault. You really are acting stupidly. Me? What do you mean? Well, you're whispering for a start. Well, that's only because she... <laughs> oh, this is silly. But yes, it's not very professional either. Poor Mrs. Mollett, she's been in and out of here like a yo-yo. No, no wonder she keeps getting dizzy spells. <laughs> we really must try and keep our personal feelings out of surgery. Yes, but it's uh, hard, though, isn't it? Yes. Nikki, I I'm sorry about last night. So am I. But that job's such a good opportunity. One of us ought to take it. Yes, I can see that now. You take the job, Nikki. Oh, no, I couldn't. You take it, Mike. No, I... I know. Let's both take it. No. Two surgeons can't do one job. Well, I suppose there aren't that many double hernias around. <laughs> you take the job, Nikki. No, I can't. It's yours. Well, I didn't apply. You did. Yes, but you were promised it. Yeah, but I can't take it. Well, I don't want it. Well, now you're just being stubborn. Me? Stubborn? I'm only thinking of you. And I'm only thinking of you. Oh, trying to reason with you is pointless. I'm going into my own surgery. Right, well, I'm going out on the rounds. Well, enjoy yourself. And you. <laughs> oh, how we danced on the night we were wed. We danced and we danced because the room had no bed. <laughs> <laughs> Be having some crumpet tonight. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> ah! ah. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, nothing, nothing. I, I finished now. Um, what are you doing here, anyway? Well, you said drop in any time. I, I thought we could have a chat and a drink. Oh, uh, yes. All, all right. Um, uh, just got time for a quickie, eh? Hey? <laughs> uh, have you thought about taking that job yet? Go. Oh, don't talk to me about the job. Oh, um, how's Nikki? Now don't talk to me about her either. Oh, nice weather we're having. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, get that down, you'll feel better. Well, cheers. Cheers. What was that, wine? No, rhesus positive. <laughs> An impertinent little blood. Probably from a donor in Camden Town, 1960. Oh. Can you joke at a time like this? Time like what? Oh. <laughs> like this? Oh. Women. Oh, I see. Had a row, have we? No, two. Uh -huh. They're more trouble than they're worth. Yes. They lead you on, get you all involved, and, and then what do they do? Trample all over you. Really? <laughs> well, it's good, that's... Look, Mark, I think you're taking this far too seriously. What I suggest is let it ride and she'll soon come back to no, you. No, she won't. It's all over now, and I'm, I'm better off out of it. Yes, of course you are, Mike. I was just going to say that. I don't know why we bother with women. No, nor do I. I mean, what's the point of it all? Quiet, Mike. Why bother? Exactly. Nikki's just... She's just... Well, on the other hand, she's... I just don't know what to do. That's the spirit, Mike. <laughs> with the Dean tomorrow. Good. Good. Will you take that job? Yes. Yes, I will. I mean, women just aren't worth worrying about. You're absolutely right. Oh, hello, Paul. Sorry hello, I'm late. Sorry, <laughs> Mm. Uh, Maureen, this is, um... Judas! <laughs> what an unusual name. <laughs> Come in. 
Now, sit down, sit down. Oh. Ah, uh, Dr Upton. Now, let me see. Uh, when was the last time we met? Why, it was this in this office, wasn't it? Was it, sir? Yes, yes, you just parked my mini for me. On the sunroof. Oh, that, that was just a prank. The hospital had just won the inter-hospital rugby cup and all that, sir. Oh, yes, so he was. Yeah, he had a jolly good laugh over that. Afterwards, there's good old St. Swithin spirit. You're not going to make a habit of it, are you? I just bought a Bentley. Oh, it wouldn't have been... <laughs> Been in the lift. Oh, well, that's a good point. Now, look, there's no point in going through the usual interview rigmarole. I know your record. You were a student here, as you probably know, and you had a lot of valuable experience in general practice. So the job's yours. I don't want it. Good. What did you say? I, um, don't want the job, sir. You've got something better? No, sir. I haven't got something worse. No, sir. Well, then, damn it, Upton, you're standing still. Look, you've got to move one way or the other. This is a very good job I'm offering you. Why don't you want it? Um, personal reasons, sir. Oh, no, not again. I've never had personal reasons before, sir. <laughs> Besides, I just feel that there's uh, somebody, pro probably another doctor, any other doctor, who might have applied with better qualifications, probably. Women? Sir? Dr Barrington. Oh, you know about her? Yeah, she wrote me a letter. Listing all these excellent qualifications, all very keen and enthusiastic. Then about half an hour ago, she turned up out of the blue and told me she wouldn't take the job even if she was offered it. All because of personal reasons. Oh, Mickey. Quite. Now, look, let me offer you a word of advice, young Martin. M Michael. Michael. Quite right. Upton. Yes, that's right. Now, look, you put in a lot of hard work here and uh, you put in the groundwork of a very promising career, not something to be undermined by a brief encounter with the opposite... Thing. Now, you're not the only pebble on the beach, you know. Either of you. I've got a list here of a lot of highly qualified pebbles. And if you both turn it down, you're both losing, aren't you? Yes. yes. Well, now, do you want the job or not? Yes, I'll take it. Ah, <laughs> yes, I'm sure you're doing the right thing. Well, uh, good luck, Martin. But Michael. Upton. That's right. Yes, good luck. See you soon. Yes, thank you, sir. Goodbye, sir. Uh, bye. Hey, get me the porter's lodge, please. Vincent, that you? Dean here. Would you mind measuring whether a Bentley will fit in the lift? <laughs> Hello, Mike. Nicky. Well? Well, well, I only got it because you... Oh, we've been through all that, Mike. Well, what will you do now? Oh, there'll be other chances. I expect I'll be kept pretty busy helping Dr Griffin. And I do need some more experience in general practice. I'll be all right. Well, now that that's all sorted out, perhaps we can still... I mean... Well, I'll see you back at the surgery. Well, no, Mike. It's been hard for us both, so I thought I'd go home for a while. Or well, that's if you don't mind if I leave you with the surgery by yourself. No, no, it's the least I can do after what you've done for me. <laughs> well, Dr Griffin will be out next week and I'll be back in time to join him. Well, that, that means I won't... I mean, we won't... Look, I bought you something. What? You shouldn't... Oh, thank you. Good luck, Mike. And you, Nick. Hello, Mike. Everything okay? Yeah. You know, I'm glad you took my advice about that job. Fancy a drink now? Yes. Yes. Great. Come on.
Bye, Nikki. See you later. Bye. Come in. <laughs> oh, hello, Mike. Hello, Paul. I'm <laughs> just doing a. Yes. Oh, Mike, you shouldn't have bothered. No, they're for somebody else. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, buttonholes? No, I, I don't think so. I'll get us some more. Oh. Well, oh. Um, sit down, Paul. Oh, thank sit you. Down. Thank you. You too. Yes. What, what brings you here? Oh, I just uh, called in to pick up some ECG results. How's the practice? Oh, yes. Fine, fine. Oh, good, good. I see you're getting used to the idea of working with a woman doctor. Oh, yes. Um, how did you know? Oh, masculine intuition. The last time I saw you, she was making your life hell. Oh, that was just over-enthusiasm. It was her first practice. She wanted to make an impression. Yeah, it looks as though she has. Yes. She's so conscientious. Do you know I was in a room till three in the morning? Ah, oh, now that's what I call conscientious. <laughs> oh, no, nothing like that. We were just discussing some x-rays. Oh, yes. Yes. She doesn't know how I feel. But you don't want to talk about Nicky all night. How's the job? Oh, it's great. Well, it's more in your line, really. Assistant surgeon. Nicky hopes to go into surgery. Uh, yes, well, it's fantastic experience, even though I do have to put up with Bingham. He still races around jabbering about his latest rodent ulcers. But I, Nicky I... diagnosed an ulcer the other day. Spotted it right away. Yes, well, I had to deal with a peritonitis case yesterday. It involved a very tricky appendicectomy. And but she... I suppose Nicky knocked off two of those. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she did have one like that at the city in general. Yeah. Mike, aren't you just a little bit jealous of me? I mean, you're still stuck in general practice. Oh, well, I still want to do surgery. But, um, general practice has its compensations. <laughs> Which reminds me, I must get back. To your compensations? Yes. Yeah. No, um, I I've got some x-rays to go over. Oh, come on, Mike, we've got time for a quick pint. No, no, really, I've uh, got to roll up some bandages as well. Oh, well, you had better dash, then. Yeah, but, uh, but I'll see you soon. We'll have a drink. That's a good idea. I wish I'd thought of that. Right. Give my love to Nicky. What? Uh, give my love to Nicky. Oh, yes, yes, I will. See you. Yeah, bye. Drop in any time. Yeah. Yeah. Women. Thank goodness. No. <laughs> Come in. Oh. oh, um, let me. Oh. Thank you. Well, um... Oh, I just wondered if I could borrow Dr. Griffin's microscope. Oh, yes, of course. Ah, oh, it's in that box. <laughs> oh, let me. I only put it away because I didn't think anybody used it. No, no, I use it all the time. Uh, <laughs> yes, well, I was just trying to tidy up a bit. This place gets so cluttered. Like the flowers. Oh, very much. Dr. Griffin wouldn't have allowed them, though. They'd have brought on one of his sneezing attacks. Is he really that sensitive? Oh, he'd get hay fever from a plastic daffodil. <laughs> well, <laughs> the hospital says he'll be out next week, and then I'll have to look for another job. Hmm. Well, perhaps he'll get a relapse. Mike, don't you want him to get better? Yes, yes, it's just that, um, well, I've enjoyed running the practice on my own and with you on my own. <laughs> Good. Oh, um, I nearly forgot. Would you like to see some slides? Holidays? Uh, no, blood. Uh, <laughs> I collected these when I was doing pathology at St. Swithin's. There, there's one here that's very interesting. Sickle cell anemia. Oh, well, I, I wouldn't mind looking at that one. Hey. Did you take this smear yourself? No, I swapped it for two leukemias and a malaria. <laughs> <laughs> but 
Drop this one yourself. It's, it's not very... Um... Right. Is there going to be time? It's only one slide. Yes, I know. But last night it was only one x-ray. And we spent until about three o'clock talking about it. And the night before that it was only one set of ECG results, but it was past midnight before we'd finished. Yeah, well, it, it just seems so convenient. You being in here and me being, um, in there. Yes, but most of the time we're both in here. And if we carry on like that, we won't be able to get through a day's work. Yes, I suppose so. And if we both start turning up at morning surgery, bleary-eyed, what are the patients going to say? They're not like that in Harrow. Oh, my. <laughs> like that everywhere. Besides, this sort of thing can be dealt with far more quickly during the day. Yes, I, uh... I suppose you're right. Oh, but I didn't mean that you should go. Um, I just meant that... Oh, well, um, perhaps we should be a little more honest with each other. Yes, I, um, I guess we, uh, should. <laughs> yes, we must be much more honest. <laughs> Morning, Mrs. Lacey. Morning. What a lovely day. No, it's not. It's pouring down. Is it? Oh. Well, it's lovely in here. And you're lovely. Oh. Right. First patient, please. Nobody's arrived yet. It's not quarter to nine, Doctor. <laughs> oh. Still, it's nice to see you all chirpy. I expect that's Dr. Barrington's doing. Dr. Barrington is just a colleague. She's a very good doctor, but I can oh, assure you... Oh, there's a patient you... arriving now. I'll go and let her in. Right. <coughs> oh, hello, Elsie. You can go straight in. Dr. Upton's bright and early this morning. 